Hi, I'm Mark from Sharkbait here. Yeah, I just got back from a wonderful charter on the Red Rooster. A uh, five-day trip and we had some great success, wonderful trip. Uh, and that's a whole different video I'll try and get done and get posted here real shortly. But this is going to be a short video for a couple of reasons. One, because it's a real narrow topic. And number two, because my battery is almost dead. So I've got to be a little bit quicker with this one. Um, kind of a neat couple of products, one of which one type of which anyway we've had in our shop probably for the last 20 years now um, but there's another company coming on board uh, with a product for rods uh, uh, wind grip is the name of that particular company and wind grip is well known in the golf community and in probably baseball or whatever else for making grips and we're seeing a lot of the wind grip type material coming in some of the new reels that were introduced at ICAST 2017. So they're making a little bit of a push within the sporting, you know, the sport fishing category and getting out of uh, just being kind of a narrow focused uh, product manufacturer uh, in say golf clubs. Now the products they offer are kind of cool. Um, and what they do, let's see here if I can grab a rod. This is a long one so hopefully I don't punch it through the roof. Um, they offer uh, a handle grip material that's somewhat tacky. Uh, it's, it's kind of a non-slip material. It gives you, a, it's a little bit soft so you've got some grip on it. Uh, it's wonderful for going over, let's say, a deckhand series type rod or uh, adding some extra protection to the foregrip in case you're railing a rod um, and fishing it like a rail rod. Um, I've used these on my rods you know, for a lot of years from again from a different um, manufacturer which will discontinue given what wind grip is doing which is really a, a nicer product. Similar you know, in the way you apply it but it's a nicer product you know, with a few more options. You know, this particular one is kind of a blue you know, you know, in, in an offshore more or less pattern. You know, we're stocking this stuff in oh maybe six different color patterns. Excuse me. Um, let's put this rod up and I can show you. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to wind up putting the material on a, a United Composite rod of mine. And it, it, for my hands, you know, the cork grip, while being super, super light and wonderful on the rod, a little bit small for my mitts. So I want to build it up a little bit. And I'll do that you know, with the application of the wind grip. You know, and it'll be more comfortable for me, for my hands that typically are playing with a computer instead of doing out, you know, some work and getting some good calluses. It'll be a little easier on my hands too. Um, now the way this stuff comes, you know, let's put this rod back where she goes again. The way the material comes is in, or rather, compact and easy to deal with tube. It's available in a couple of different lengths. Um, we choose the longer 96 inch length and it's about an inch wide. So this one is kind of a gray, has a couple of little tuna fish on it, if you can see there. We also do it in a black, again with a couple of fish um, on the tape. We do it in blue, again with a couple of nice little tuna fish. Yeah. There's a Dorado pattern that just happens to have a Dorado. And then on that UC with the red wrap, I'll wind up using this red camel uh, pattern. Um, which should look pretty cool by the time I'm done. And then this was the blue, you know, offshore blue that was used you know, on that other deckhand series rod I showed you. you know, so kind of a blue camel, no fish. This is one style of wrap. Easy to attach, easy to take off. In fact, I had some guys um, that uh, you know, do some guide work and have gear on the boat. You know, and they'll apply this to their new rods and then they try and sell off their rods at the end of each season and cycle through them. You know, and they'll take off you know, the grit material and now they've got pristine looking Hypalon or EVA. You know, nice, nice product, nice you know, clean way to do it and it's relatively inexpensive. I'm gonna say you know, maybe a little under 20 bucks you know, for the long rolls of this stuff. The longer rolls you could use for a deckhand series rod or you've got plenty to take care of a standard rod with a foregrip and a rear grip. Now the other product I wanted to show off, and again, doing some of the same same tasks that this would as far as protecting your hypo on, you know, although the wind grip will build that up a little bit, you know, is the cold shrink material. Now on rail rods, 
Randy Penny over at UC uses a 3M material, and it's, it's a cold shrink, and I can explain that a little bit. The one that Randy uses on the UCs is made in the USA. It's made by 3M. It's expensive stuff. Uh, he does some little trimming of the hypalon so it still sits flat. And the idea is it, it's somewhat tacky. Uh, it's, 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 hard. it's not going to slide like the phenolic type or plastic material that we've used on some of the custom rods years back um, uh, that we did on the UCs. Uh, that phenolic material is very durable and strong, uh, but it's more slippery you know, on the rail. You know, this is going to be a little tackier. It's going to kind of stick where you put it you know, and work very, very well. It's the definitive material to use. Salty Dog, a you know, rod builder that we work with out of San Diego, uses another material that I think is used in maybe plumbing or something else you know, for the same sort of benefit, but it's, it's not kind of the, the rubbery type material. You know, I mean, I, and I like this rubbery type stuff a lot. You know, it's very, very good. But for those of us who have some rods that we intend to grind away with on the rail, what do we do? Well, cold shrink. And this is my own Raptor. You know, and you can see I put the material on the foregrip. Of course, no trimming of the hypoline for me. You know, and it maybe is a little bit thicker. Now, this is an import product you know, that's available by way of the same folk that bring us Alps guides and rain shadow blanks and, and a number of rod building components. Uh, we sell this and stock it separately. Anybody can use it. Anybody can work with it. It's very cool stuff. It's available in two different lengths. So short for the foregrip, a little bit longer for the rear grip, typically. Yeah, but whichever works on your particular rod. And what you do with it, it's 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 really really simple. Uh, I stuck this on two of my rods before taking off on a five-day trip. Basically, when you unwrap it, here is your grip, and it's on kind of a plastic sheet, okay, and with a pull tab, which is what this thing is. And what you do is you start pulling this tab. Well, now first you got to put it on the rod. So let me get my little skin off here. Well, here is my fancy custom rod, and what I would do is stick this up from the butt over the reel seat and now I'm over my hypalon on the front side and I just start pulling this tab. Now this tab right here goes all the way to the front of the rod and so it will start pulling this off in coils, okay, spiraling around the rod and as it does so this will shrink down and grip the rod. So position it where you want and then just basically start pulling the tab. You can put the butt against you or put it on the floor or table or whatever and begin pulling this. And it'll start a little bit hard and then it just gets easy and almost unwraps itself as it coils down and tightens on the rod. That's it, you know, that's basically it. Now, the import versus the domestic. As I said, that 3M product you don't wanna buy. It's real expensive. Um, and you know, it's, that's one thing that bumps the cost for Randy you know, with United Composites rods. His feel and the way it is promoted, the 3M material is UV protected and it probably costs double you know, per rod or more if you can find it, which you can't, you know, than the material that's, that we have at retail for sale. You know, the material that we have at retail for sale, to me, seems like it's going to be basically performed the same um, and I've been told by way of the manufacturer that it has UV inhibitors in it as well as the 3M material. But I've also heard from another side that it doesn't hold up as well over time. Well, so be it, you know, in my mind. You know, for the amount of times I'm using this rail rod and putting it on the rail, you know, I'm going to get years of use out of it. You know, and if I have to replace it down the road, so be it. You know, it's just going to peel right off. The hypalon is going to be intact. It's not any adhesive or anything that's being applied. It's just the material shrinking down. And if the material should degrade, it's easy to remove it and stick on a new piece. Similarly with the wind grip. You know, if that material wound up getting scuffed up or cut up or something like that, easy to replace it you know, and stick on a, a new layer. You know, no big deal. And, and no big heartbreak uh, if there's any damage to it because you still protected the hypalon, which is underneath it, which is the intent of this stuff, as well as, in the case of the wind grip at least, to build up that handle a little bit. And you can do other things to help build it up more if your hands are, you, know, you got some big mitts. So in any event, this is a quick one. I was talking fast. Uh, 
Yeah, this is just a video on those two rod wrap materials, uh, which we can do to any of the rods you have in your in your arsenal back home, uh, to make them one a little easier to distinguish on a boat full of you know 30 other anglers or more, um, or simply to protect the hypo arm you know, that you have on your rod, whether you're grinding at the rail or not. And then the third benefit, of course, is building up the handle material, you know, so it's a little bit wider. Yeah, so good stuff. Nice to have options. Nice to have ways to, to you know, make your rods uh, feel a little better in your hands and perform a little better for you. And it's something that anybody can do very simply in the course of about three minutes. Okay, enough of this video. Uh, check back in. Hopefully I got the other vid up on the, on the bluefin trip we took on the Red Rooster, of which I got a 146 or 148. I think it's turning into a 150 over the next couple of days. On 50 pound line. Not bad, not bad. Okay, more gap. Bye-bye. Just a quick uh, PS uh, to the video. There are two styles of this wrap from Wind Grip. There's the standard and there's the contour. Now I put the contour on my rod. You know, the contour has a little piece of foam you know, on the back of the tape. You know, to do things properly, you would trim the tape. There are good instructions that come with the material, but, but uh, I didn't do it that way. Yeah, but the contour type with that little foam strip adds a little more uh, build up uh, to the rod. Uh, it also gives your, your finger, your hand, something to grip into a little bit more than the standard wrap does. The standard wrap costs a little bit less, a couple of bucks. Um, the same length uh, at 96 inches. Um, and it'll wrap 32 inch section of the rod uh, up to that level. Um, but the standard yeah, does not have that contour. Uh, the other packs do. So we're stocking two in that contour type, the blue and then also the red that I used on my rod. And you're probably wondering, how did my rod come out? I'll show you. Ah, I gotta go get it. Hang Okay, so here is my finished rod. It looks very, very trick. I like the material. Now it feels a little better in my hands. It fits my hand a little bit better than it did before. I went ahead and built up the, the foregrip part more by over wrapping the material more, like maybe halfway up it. Um, and then through the rest of the rod, I was only covering maybe the bottom quarter inch on those wraps. So that's the way she comes out and it's gonna hold up well, easy to identify and Looks pretty good too. Feels good. Looks good. Is good. Okay, mark out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.